coming out of your wall is normally going to be two sets of wires. One's coming from your transformer, and then the other one is going to your front door or wherever your doorbell button is. In that are usually multiple wires, and not all of them are used, but are usually ran just as spares within the walls. Normal doorbells are going to use a white and a red wire, where the whites are going to be the power, and then the red's going to connect to your doorbell chime inside your house somewhere. We're going to make use of one more wire that's in that that's not being used, so you can use any of the extra ones. Usually they're bent over sideways or they're taped off. We're going to go ahead and use the blue wire. So we're going to have a total of three wires to connect our chime that's currently installed in our house with our ring doorbell so that we have both going and available. Okay, so here we are inside the doorbell by the chime. The white ones are going to stay connected together. We're going to put a wire nut on those so we can move those out of the way. Then inside on the chime, you're going to see the two red wires. And one of them is going to be connected to your transformer. And then one of them is going to be connected to the front door or wherever the doorbell button is. The way that we make it work with our ring doorbell so that it's wired as well is we're going to utilize the blue wire. So as we took the blue wire, I'm going to take that pair and I took it from inside the wall and I'm connecting it to my power source. So you're going to connect it to whatever, whichever one is going to be power. So if you connect it and it doesn't work, uh, you'll have to switch it if you're not connected to the transformer one. So I have it connected here. So on the one wire, I have my blue wire and red wire are connected both to the transformer. So they're getting power all the time. Then the other one is what's going to my current button. Okay, what we've done here is we've got our three wires from inside the house, the blue, the white, and the red. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a second wire, we're going to run it to our ring doorbell just so we have some extra room to work with. So I ran a black wire here that has a black and a red inside of it. I'm going to take the red wire that's going to my ring doorbell and connecting it to the blue wire that was connected inside the house at the door chime that I showed you earlier, connecting to the power. Then I'm going to take the black wire that's going to my ring doorbell, and I'm going to connect it with the white wire that's coming from inside the house, as well as one of the wires that is going to my doorbell push button. So there's gonna be three wires connected there, the black to the door, ring doorbell, the white from inside the house, and the red to the push button. And those three are gonna to connect together in a wire knot. And then off of your button, you have two wires. One of them is the one that I just showed you that's connected back to the white wire. And then your second wire is gonna be the red wire that comes in from inside the house. That red wire is gonna get connected to the other side of the push button on your front doorbell. So now you've got your front doorbell that works when you push it. And your ring doorbell should also be working 